I applied to 18 colleges, 16 of which rejected me. One waitlisted me and one accepted me. So now for those of you who are curious as to how I pulled off such a feat, I'm going to show you. Let's begin with my background, stats, and scores. I was born in Canada, but moved to the United States at a very young age. I attended a competitive public high school in California where my family earned a middle class income. Now, I am also half white and half Asian. My unweighted GPA was a 3.97, which is because I got one B during my sophomore year, which happened to be during the pandemic when I was playing 15 hours a day of Valorant and Minecraft. Who? Never mind, Emmett, thank you, thank you. Emmett, do you know that I love you? Oh! Oh, and I'm coming over. But that's besides the point. I got a weighted GPA of 4.48 out of a 5 point system. It should have been higher. I got scammed. And for those of you guys who think I'm joking, I took so many band classes that went towards my academic GPA for some reason. And they were not weighted, so they actually lowered my GPA that much. But that doesn't make me a band kid. I took a total of 11 APs and scored a 1510 on the SAT, which was super clutch by the way because I increased my score by 120 points in just two weeks. It was such a drastic increase that the college board delayed my score because they had to check if I was cheating or not. Now, my extracurriculars mostly consist of music. I am a drum set player and our high school was a National Grammy signature school for music, so our programs were pretty top tier. I played for just about every single program imaginable, but my proudest performance had to have been with our jazz band, where we'd played a gig for Bondi Namco, which is a multi-billion dollar company. We also competed statewide with a marching band and percussion ensemble, where we oftentimes placed in the top three in all of California. I also held the top leadership roles in the marching band where I was a drum major and I led over 250 students. For the percussion ensemble, I was the section leader and I was the section leader for the jazz band for two years. Now, I also had work experience. I worked for a small arcade company during the summer of my sophomore year entering junior year. I learned graphic design, sales, and basic business. I then, after the summer program, partnered with the company's affiliate program, where I generated over $120,000 in sales at the time of application. Smaller activities included service work for my church and teaching students physics, math, and how to play the drums. So before you guys think you are absolutely doomed, don't worry. I messed up the application process so bad, it's actually laughable. But there are a few things I want to mention. One, do not pick unnecessarily difficult majors to get into, especially if you don't have a clear path set on what you want to do with your college education and ultimately your career. Two, spend a lot of time on your application. I only spend a lot of time on the essays, but everything is equally as important. The extracurriculars list is a great example. Three, don't apply to too many colleges. It will spread you too thin and each application will suffer because of it. It is better to pick fewer schools and focus on each one in particular to make sure every single application is as best as it can be. Lastly, whatever happens, don't worry about it. There's always future opportunities. There's always other chances. Just because you got rejected from your dream school does not mean it's over yet. There's always transfer opportunities. There's always grad school, so don't stress. And ultimately, it's really not that deep. If you really think about it, if you're able to watch this video, you have the time, you have the resources necessary to make it big in this world, regardless of your background. So now, think of the perspective of us and all of humanity 
We are literally living better than the kings and queens hundreds, thousands of years ago. They did not have phones, technology, Wi-Fi, just cars, nice houses, air conditioning, light bulbs. We are living in a time where we should all be very grateful for what we have, and we are all living very comfortably. So, no matter what happens, don't think about it too much, don't worry, we have it good. My name is Emmett Funston, peace out. Damn. Don't do that guys. You see, you can see the wrinkles forming in because I make that face too much. Damn.